Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to create that fun effect in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and we will be recreating an effect from our YouTube Toolkit pack. Uh, it's just a fun effect that is just popping off on your screen. You can just add any file in it. You have a lot of control available in the inspector, such as adjusting the animation length, changing the animation in, the animation out, and a bunch of other stuff like the background, perspective, glow, shadow, etc. So if you want to know more about it, you can just head off to our website and check out the full pack. But anyway, right now we're going to see together how to recreate that from scratch in DaVinci Resolve. So you're going to need two things. First, here a file that can be a video file or a photo file of just whatever you want to appear on screen. And then that's going to be the PNG file of the frame of the phone. For the PNG, we provided a free download in the link in the description below, so you can just get that and get on with the tutorial. And then for the file inside the phone, just gather whatever you want. Right now, I'll be using just a screen recording from a phone. I'm just going to take it and drag it here in my timeline. Then you can just cut whatever access you want to cut. Here, I'm just going to delete the audio because I don't need it. And then we can just create a new Fusion clip. Now that you get your Fusion clip, you can just go over to Fusion. And in Fusion, we're going to bring all phone files. So you can just drag that in your working area. We can just quickly rename it with F2. So here, I'm just going to rename that phone. And my main media, I'm going to just rename it scroll. Now I'm going to disconnect the scroll from the media out. I'm just going to bring it here for later. And I'm going to bring a background in my working area. Now I can just link the output of the scroll to the background. And then I'm going to link the output of the phone to the merge. And then I'm going to link the output of that merge to the media out. Now we're getting somewhere. The first thing we want to do is here, we want to mask out the excess. So you want to make a mask inside the frame of the phone. To do that, I'm gonna take a rectangular mask and I'm just gonna bring it here and link it to my merge tool. Now I'm just gonna adjust that to the border horizontally and vertically. To be more precise, I'm just gonna zoom in my image. So here I'm just gonna go and zoom 200 and then we can just adjust a bit more here the mask so it ended up perfectly on the edges it's good on the side it seems to be good on the bottom and it seems to be good at the top as well the only thing is that here we need to render those corner so it fits on the frame so here i'm just gonna adjust the corner radius until we get something that fit the frame like that i think it's fine we can check the bottom as well and we're good there as well now we can unzoom so we're just gonna click fit and to be honest, the effect is pretty much done. Now we're just gonna need to reframe the image inside the mask. So I'm gonna select the scroll, it shifts space on my keyboard, and we're gonna search for transform node, bring that in. And then here we can just readjust the size of our scroll. So I'm just gonna reduce the size. And then here I'm just gonna adjust the position. So I'm gonna move that a bit to the side. And I think we're good like that. All right, so now most of the effect is done. We're just gonna need to make a few touch up. The first one being here, if you want to have a transparent background, you can simply go to background and reduce the alpha channel down to zero and you gain transparency. Then we can go here to merge, hit shift space on the keyboard, search for a drop shadow and bring that in. Then you can just adjust the strength of the shadow, the blur, the angle, the distance, etc. Right now, just gonna leave it by default. And then here, I'm just gonna bring a new background and unlink the drop shadow from the media out and then link it to that new background. Then I'm just gonna link the output of the merge to the media out and we're gonna go to the background and change it for white. So that's gonna be the background behind my phone. But if you want to use an animated background or a piece of footage, that's where it will go instead of that white background. Now the last step gonna be the animation. So we're gonna do a simple opacity and size animation. To do that, I'm gonna select my drop shadow, hit shift space on the keyboard, and then we're gonna search for a transform node, bring that in, and then hit shift space on the keyboard again, and we're gonna search for a brightness node and bring that in. Now I'm gonna go at frame 30, and then I'm just gonna select my transform, drop a keyframe on the size at one, and then I'm gonna go to frame zero, and here I'm just gonna drop the size to whatever size I like. So here there's gonna be, yeah, about 0.65, I think it's fine. And then here, I'm just gonna go to frame 10, go to the brightness and contrast node, select the alpha channel, drop a keyframe on the gain at one, and then we're gonna drop basically the opacity down at frame zero. So I'm gonna go to frame zero and here, I'm just gonna drop the gain down to zero. 
which is going to basically affect the opacity. Now if we play it, we got our effect, just two things. The first one is that here, the shadow is just clipping on the border of the image. So we're just gonna make a quick adjustment to the drop shadow by going there. And here, I'm just gonna reduce the drop distance. I'm gonna just change a tiny bit the angle. And here, I'm gonna reduce the blur a tiny bit. And that way, right now, it's not affecting the border of the image and it's not clipping anymore. The second thing is that I wanted to smooth out the animation. To do that, I'm going to go over to Spline. And then here, I'm going to select the Transform and Size. Click Zoom to Fit. Then I'm just going to select my two keyframe points. Hit S on my keyboard to just smooth that curve. And then I'm going to hit T to bring the Ease In and Ease Out mode. And then here, I'm just going to bring the Ease In at about 85. So just like that. And now if we play it, perfect, we got our animation. That's pretty much it. That's how to create that effect in DaVinci Resolve. If you want to see more titles like this, you can just head over to our website because this specific title is part of our YouTube toolkit. So there is more title like that if you want to check it out. They have a bunch of control like adjusting the animation length directly from the edit page. You can choose from different animation in and animation out and a lot of other parameters. I'll let you check that out. And also let me know in the comment what kind of video you like to see next. I will just be happy to add that to our list of videos to make in the future. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.